Just a heads up, if you don't like bones, skip to this timestamp. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that thing. Yeah, that's a that's a cool thing right there. Ah, oh, yeah, I love that thing too. Ah, oh, yeah, it's so cool. Ugh, oh, I love it. But, but wait. But, what if... Holy shit! Hi, welcome to another video. I'm sure it's obvious by the title of this video, but I really like skulls and shiny rocks. I have a small collection of animal skulls that I've found while hiking and some that I've gotten from a friend, and one of my favorites is my coyote skull. I also have a bunch of crystals and neat rocks. I just got an Anycubic Photon Mono 3D printer, and I really wanted to test it out. So I decided to make a wolf skull with crystals growing on it for my first project. The first thing I did was sketch out my idea. I wanted to do three versions of the crystal wolf skull, so I used Paint Tool Side to make the mock-ups. Next, I found some wolf skull references, brought them into Blender, and modeled a wolf skull as best I could. I used paths for the teeth, and they actually turned out a lot nicer than I was expecting. The final thing I did was add the crystals. Arranging them in a way that looked natural was a little challenging, but in the end I was pretty pleased with how it looked. Now it's time for the real challenge, adding supports. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought, so let's get these skulls printed. Finally, the skulls are in the physical realm. The supports worked pretty well, and I actually love how they look all glossy with the thin layer of resin still on them. But that's too bad, because we gotta clean them off. I used two containers of rubbing alcohol to clean off the uncured resin. It smells horrendous, but it works great! Also, I forgot to get a shot of it, but I set them out in the sun for a few hours to really make sure they were all the way cured. Here's a dramatic reenactment. All right, so we have our little skulls. They're all ready to go. They're clean. They are, they're off the printer. They're all, they're cured. So I'm gonna sand these and then I'm gonna get to painting them. And I'm pretty excited about that because the surface on these is very, very smooth. I honestly thought that I was gonna be seeing some build lines on these when I was like printing them out. But literally all you can see is the actual pixelated details from the LCD screen on the 3D printer, it's its honestly insane. But anyways, that's enough with that. Let's uh, let's get some paints mixed up and let's get to get to coloring these skulls and get them all get them all sorted out and make them look nice and cool.
Alright, so we've got this skull done. The black and gold one is done and ready to go. And the next one that I actually want to work on is the kind of sunset with the peaches and the... Like, that one, you know? And I just got some really cool mica powder in the mail. And I think this is going to make that skull look just... Oh, so cool. So yeah, let's get going on that. Oh, also, if you're wondering what I was doing in the last part of that uh, time... Time lapse. If you're wondering what I was doing in the last part of that time lapse, I was actually painting the crystals on this skull with a little bit of the UV printer resin. I did get some UV resin to try and do that just without using the printer resin, but when I did a couple of test, like test spots on a piece of plastic that I had, the UV resin kind of got squishy and gummy and had like a weird residue on it. But the UV printer resin cured a lot faster and was actually hard and didn't have any weird residue. So I decided to use that on all of the skulls on the crystals, like just as a final little last touch kind of thing. But anyways, let's get to painting the, uh, the sunset skull.
So I just finished up the purple sunset skull and I honestly might have a new favorite. I thought it was going to be, I, I thought that my favorite throughout this whole project was going to be the gold and black one because it's got like all these cool designs going on. But this one, oh my gosh, I cannot get over this super shift mica pigment. It looks so cool. No matter what angle you look at it from, it's always changing colors and just, oh, I am, I'm so happy with it. And then I also tried a new thing with this skull, which I, uh, I painted alcohol inks onto the actual crystals and I did them in a sort of gradient from red to yellow and it just looks so cool. When you look at the crystals up close, they just look like a sunset or some sort of like honey sort of it's really nice looking i'm just all over i'm really happy with how this one turned out so this one this one's done so let's get on to the the teal and rust one which might take this one over as my new favorite but we'll see Before I show you the finished shots of the skulls, I want to do a little giveaway. If you'd like a chance to win this test crystal skull print, just put the word dandelion somewhere in your comment. I'll be picking a winner on this date, and just make sure that you're comfortable with me sending this to you in the mail. With that out of the way, here's the finished crystal wolf skulls. I hope you enjoyed the video. These skulls are gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop. The link's in the description. If you have any art project suggestions, feel free to leave a comment or join my new Discord. The link for that is in the description too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.